Hello everybody, John here. Here today to talk to you about McDonald's. McDonald's in Japan is so different than it is in the USA. You can find a Japanese McDonald's in Hawaii. You will find the menu there is extremely different. You'll find items on the menu that you've never seen anywhere else. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the name and some of the culture there. The McDonald's in Japan is a lot more upscale than it is in any other part of the world, at least in my opinion. The place is very clean, the service is superb. You'll have people running out from behind the counter to give you your bag and then they'll bow and then they'll walk you out with the McDonald's. It's absolutely incredible. The floors are clean, they keep the place up. Well, it's still a fast food restaurant. It's not as clean as you're going to get at another really nice restaurant. But still, as far as the McDonald's goes, it's top class. Now the name, the name is very different. It took me a long time when I first started learning Japanese how to say McDonald's in Japanese. And likewise, Japanese people will have a lot of problems saying McDonald's in English. It seems so easy, right? McDonald's. Well, in Japanese, it's six syllables. It's maku do naru do. Try saying that ten times fast. Maku do naru do. Maku do naru do. Maku do naru do. In English, it's McDonald's. Now, you, you can have this uh, conversation with Japanese people and they'll eat it up. They just love the fact that they can't actually say McDonald's. I don't know what it is. The L, the R. I don't know what's going on there with, with the L's, but they just can't say it. Now, let's go ahead and jump straight to the menu. The breakfast menu in Japan is awesome. They've got items on the menu that you would never see at a McDonald's in America. For example, the bacon lettuce egg wrap. Now, wrap your heads around that one. They've also got what's called the mega muffin. It's two sausage patties, a slice of cheddar cheese, and you've got bacon, ketchup, and an egg on it. It sounds incredible. And then on the breakfast menu, you've got a chicken Caesar wrap. Now that sounds awesome as well. Typically that seems like more of a lunch item, but hey, what the heck, it's breakfast. The lunch and dinner menu is also very, very different. A lot of contrast there. I think the number one thing that stands out is the teriyaki burger. The teriyaki burger is something very unique. It's, it's something that I would definitely not pass up. The next thing that stands out is the Mega Mac. The Mega Mac is enormous. It's basically two Big Macs in one. It's almost impossible to wrap your entire mouth around one of these things. There's actually a Mega Fry now. They just came out with a Mega Fry in June, I think. This thing has 1,142 calories in it. That's more than two Big Macs. That's incredible. That's the largest calorie count item on the menu. And now let's jump to the Shrimp Thousand Island Wrap. This thing is shrimp with Thousand Island dressing and you put it in a wrap. Uh, looks pretty good. Again, I didn't try it myself either. I would always go for the standard classic cheeseburger. Then they have the croquette burger. The croquette burger is also pretty good. And then they have the McPork sandwich. The McPork sandwich is a little bit like the McRib sandwich. And then if you want to get a uh, apple pie, uh, you know they have the little pie wraps that are like a dollar on the menu in America. Well, in Japan, they call it bacon potato pie. That sounds good. Bacon, potato, pie, nice. Might be worth trying. And lastly, they've got the shaka shaka chicken. Shaka shaka means shake shake, basically. Shaka 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 chicken. Try it, basically what it is is chicken, you put it in a little bag and you put some black pepper uh, spices on the inside and then you shake it up. Shaka 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 shaka. So, next time you're in Japan, try to talk about makudo nado and have a conversation with people about the service and uh, try to pick something out on the menu. Ichi. Me. See if you can order on your own. Good luck to everybody and enjoy the menu in Japan. Have fun. I know if you're in Japan for a week, you're going to stop by a McDonald's. Every foreigner does it. Try something new on the menu. Don't just go for a cheeseburger. You can if you've been dying for Western food, but still, try something else to go along with it because you're not going to be able to get that item anywhere else. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.